Hi everyone, welcome to the Avondale Amateur for 2022. My name is Hayley McNeil and I'm the Golf Operations Manager at Avondale Golf Club. Uh, today I'm joined by our Ladies Captain Caroline Riley and our Club Captain Mark Bayless. Um, Mark, I'll start with you. Uh, the tournament's happening this year, we had to cancel it last year in 2021. Um, how exciting is it to be going ahead with the tournament this year? It's excellent Hayley, I mean it's a great relief really. We've been through so much over the last few weeks and months mm -hmm. and so much uncertainty around whether we can stage the event. Mm -hmm. So delighted to say that we are going ahead. Um, looking forward to welcoming all the players here next week. Um, it's been a massive effort putting this um, event together. We've had to scale back a few things, for mm -hmm. example, some uh, clubhouse functions, um, some hospitality offerings, but that's uh, not, not really a big problem in the grand scheme mm -hmm. of things, just delighted to get the event on. And having people playing golf, right? Um, so to Caroline, um, this is your first event um, as Lady Captain, or first year as Lady Captain at Avondale. Um, first year in the uh, organising committee and preparing for the tournament, what's that been like? Thanks Hayley, it's been very exciting to be involved at this level of competition in the club, uh, which of course links us into um, World Amateur Golf Rankings and other associations at elite level of golf. Very, very exciting, mm -hmm. thank you. Cool. And so, um, Mark, the, the field that we've got this year, obviously it usually attracts um, a whole heap of international players, interstate players. What's the, what's the men's field looking like this year? We've got 121 players, which is a full field. We've got a wait list as well, so mm -hmm. we're confident that we will have 120 come next week. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, only one international player, which is a sign of the times, but uh, mm -hmm. as I said, the, the tournament's going ahead and we're, we're very delighted just to, to have players at all. Um, mm -hmm. We do have every state of Australia represented, which is excellent and some of Australia's best players are coming here next week. We've got um, a handicap range for men of plus 7.3, would you believe, um, up to 0 0.6. Mm -hmm. um, young man from Goulburn, uh, Dominic Fork, is the, uh, is, the, is the highest or the best ranked player on handicap. We've got a, a trio of chaps from uh, New South Wales Golf Club, uh, plus five or thereabouts, Harry Bolton, Harry Doig and Zach Mullins. Um, they'll be very strong players next week. Um, mm -hmm. Harrison Crowe's here, he's played very well here the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. He'll be a good player out there as well. Um, Andrew Richards, the Pennant Hills uh, Golf Club player, our current state amateur champion, is here next week. Mm -hmm. He's devoted to preparing for the course next week. Um, so a very, very strong field. And, and interestingly, um, we have 11 Avondale men playing here next week. Yeah. And surprisingly, none of those 11 are in the top 25 handicaps. Wow. Um, yeah, so it's quite amazing. Even though Chris Van is ranked number two on the current order of merit in Australia, his handicap doesn't re reflect that. But look, the Avondale guys, we've got Chris Van, we've got uh, Jai, Jai Picken, he'll be here. A um, couple of young blokes, Will Moody and Dominic uh, um, O'Donovan, have been in very, very good form. It'll be really exciting to watch them play mm -hmm. next week. Um, but look, it's such a, such a tough, uh, tough decision on who to pick. Um, mm -hmm. It'll just be great to watch them all get out there mm -hmm. and uh, try and shoot some good scores. Yeah, cool. Um, Caroline, how about the women's field? So we have 48 women in the field. Um, who are the standout players this year? We have um, mm -hmm. Kirsten Rutchley from Mount Lawley Golf Club in Western Australia at 5.8, plus 5.8. And the field then runs to minus 3.7, mm -hmm. which is very, very strong. There are five Avondale women in the field, which I think is one of the biggest contingents we've had. Yeah. We also have um, Kelsey Bennett from St Michael's Golf Club, mm -hmm. who's also the Victorian Amateur Champion, and our own Rachel Lee, who's the winner of the Junior Champions, and we're looking forward to her continuing involvement at this club over time. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and so, some previous winners here at the Avondale Amateur uh, last fall oh, in 2020, we had Grace Kim, who's um, a Kari Webb scholarship holder along with Kirsten Rudgley. Um, tell us about the, Mark, I'll get you to answer this, the status of the event. You know, it's a, a world ranking event, part of the Kari Webb series, national ranking event. Um, this event is to promote elite amateur golf in Australia. Um, how reflective, um, you know, of our scholarship program is that with the tournament? We've had a really strong junior program here for many, many years. Um, we're attracting a lot of good players to the club and developing our own um, mm -hmm. boys and girls as well. Um, I think it's been one of the reasons why we've been so keen to stage the event, to really push through what's going on around us with COVID. Mm -hmm. 
because the players love this event. It means a lot to them to play here. They um, are very keen to do well and, and improve their status. Um, yep. And as a world ranking event, it's even more exciting and special for them to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Cool. And um, so, the, so much preparation goes into this event. Um, from a course perspective, what has Rob, our superintendent, and the team been doing, not only in the lead up to the event, but throughout the year with um, any projects on the course? Yeah. So Rob started in February last year, even though he's been deputy here for many years. Um, so he took over the, as, the, as the superintendent in February. Um, he's really worked on improving the consistency of the greens. They're a lot firmer throughout the year. They were fantastic in October and November for the club championship. Yeah. Um, quite regularly, we had speeds of 12 to 13 feet, which is amazing. He's trying to keep them around about 11 feet for club play. And unfortunately, due to the conditions we've had over the last couple of weeks, it's probably going to be hard for him to get them faster than 10, maybe 11. Um, they'll be consistent. Um, the course is in magnificent condition. Mm -hmm. uh, the fairways are just beautiful to play off. I think the players will, you know, they're really in for some special golf conditions next week. Yeah. And Caroline, um, a huge part of this event is the involvement of our volunteers, all of the, the club members. They come out and support in all kinds of different roles. Um, what, what kind of things are they doing out there? Well, let's start from the tournament director, Ian Skinner, mm -hmm. whose contribution to this event over the years has taken it to an altogether mm -hmm. much different level. Uh, um, the um, organising committee also mm -hmm. puts in work. It's a year-round uh, performance from these people, mm -hmm. and it's very solid, very strong decision mm -hmm. to hold the tournament this mm -hmm. year against all the odds. Um, and of course the club would not be where it is today without the contribution from its members, mm -hmm. all volunteers, many of them mm -hmm. performing hours of work during the course of the week and at other times of the year. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in everyone. Um, the tournament starts on Tuesday the 18th of January and all the live scores can be found on the Avondale website.